Elton John is most definitely a legend, long being acclaimed for his contributions to the music industry and numerous hit albums and songs. Throughout his many years of success as a performer, you already know he has also accumulated quite the real estate portfolio. Elton loves jet setting around the world to spend time at his various properties from the US to Europe. Aside from the elegant Beverly Hills mansion he purchased in 2015, Elton maintains another modern estate in Los Angeles, a penthouse in Atlanta, a luxury summer retreat in France, and two beautiful homes in England. Today we'll take a look at four of Elton John's most jaw-dropping properties. In these videos we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sir Elton Hercules John, which was not his birth name by the way, is a singer, songwriter, pianist, composer and more who hails from the UK. He began playing piano at a very early age and started collaborating with lyricist Bernie Taupin in 1967. They made more than 30 albums together over the years. Elton has sold over 300 million records making him one of the best selling music artists of all time. He also has a multitude, over 50 to be exact, of top 40 hit songs and at least 7 consecutive number 1 albums. Basically, Elton has been topping the charts since his debut in the 60s and that's a long time. His unique stage presence, style and unmistakable sound are just some of the things that set him apart as his own brand of rock star. Elton is also the proud recipient of countless awards from Grammys to Golden Globes to Academy Awards and more. Aside from his legendary success in the music industry, Elton is also an active supporter of philanthropy, having founded the Elton John AIDS Foundation in 1992 and is hailed for raising awareness for charity. Of course, with all of his success, Elton has amassed an impressive net worth of $500 million or more and has been able to live a very fabulous life. He and his husband David Furnish own multiple homes across the globe, from two multi-million dollar properties in Beverly Hills, to country estates in England worthy of royalty and many more. How do they even decide where to stay? Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I noticed that 95% of you guys watching aren't subscribed, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for all the best celebrity house tours and more. We post a new video daily. Today we're going to be looking at where the legendary Sir Elton John calls home. Since he has so many homes, I think we'll check out four of them, including his mansion in Beverly Hills and even his summer retreat. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. While Elton and David now own an even bigger estate in Beverly Hills, they also own this contemporary pad they purchased in 2012 that's decoration is just about as Elton John-esque as they come. The home was built in 1966 and recently redone before purchase, located in the trendy and uber expensive community of Truesdale Estates in Beverly Hills. While the property was listed at over $7.6 million, it was reported that Elton snagged the single level house for $7.2 million and it offers over 4200 square feet with 4 beds and 5.5 baths throughout. The home offers old school architecture and a modern vibe with pops of color and sleek furnishings throughout. Apparently, one of the features that drew the couple to the home was its open floor plan with a spacious living and dining area, since they love to entertain and the spot is perfect for that. The home is walled, gated and additionally offers a staff bedroom with bathroom as well as a separate pool cabana with gym area and another bathroom. Also out on the grounds, there's a pool and spa next to a classy terrace decked out in white lounge furniture. Inside the home has one of a kind flair with different pattern wallpapers in many of the rooms, while others are painted a fresh and crisp white. White oak floors and long gallery walls run through the main living areas, where there's a formal living room with fireplace, dining room and family room with wall mounted TV. This space connects to the breakfast room and all white top of the line center island kitchen. There's also plenty of floor to ceiling windows and sliders on the rear of the home which offer amazing city views and access to the patio. One of the coolest parts of Elton's Truesdale Estates home has got to be his art collection displayed throughout. His art seems to have been a priority when designing each of the rooms, such as the David LaChapelle snaps in the living room complementing the zebra rug and pink coffee table. Other rooms 
Friends offer neon artwork and even vintage Versace in the master bath. While that home is cool, a few years later in 2015, Elton spent a little more than $7 million on another property in Beverly Hills. $33 million to be exact, and this place is remarkable. This mansion was highly publicized, offered almost 20 acres of fully gated land, and was just extravagant enough for Sir Elton. It was custom built in 2001 and sold by guest co-founder Armand Marciano, first coming up for sale at a whopping $63 million. Later, it was lowered to $37 million, and finally the price Elton bought it for. A long and private driveway leads you to the estate that is about three levels and beautifully landscaped outside. It's located only minutes from the Beverly Hills Hotel in the posh 90210 zip code. The mansion boasts over 24,000 square feet of space with 10 beds and an unbelievable 22 baths. The home was built in a lavish Mediterranean villa style and designed by KAA Associates. The rooms have been designed for large-scale entertaining and showing off world-class art. The massive home opens up to a double-height entryway with swirling staircase and marble floors, which then leads you to the formal living and dining rooms. There are a total of nine fireplaces throughout and many lounge areas to get lost in. There's a classic library as well as a gourmet kitchen with breakfast room and more than one family room with one doubling as a professional home home theater. There are three separate staff bedrooms with their own en-suites, as well as one private kitchen. Other features throughout include a wine cellar, games room, home gym, and 11 car underground garage. Of course, the grand staircase isn't the only way to get around since the mansion also has an elevator servicing all three floors. You'll also find Elton's roomy master suite upstairs with a sitting area, a terrace, and a luxury feel. Moving outside, there is a ton of perfectly manicured lawn space, an orchard, gardens full of flowers, pathways, and of course, mosaic tiled swimming pool amidst it all. There's an indoor-outdoor kitchen here with a pizza oven as well, and there's even a secluded, lighted tennis court with viewing pavilion. As we've seen so far, each of Elton's homes has its own identity and glamour, but they all provide a sanctuary, and his properties in the UK are are no different. Being a native of England, of course he has a couple of homes here, one of which is in Windsor, and an additional smaller town home in Queensdale, London. The first house, Woodside, Elton refers to as The Hub, has classic English interiors, romantic gardens, a dozen or more dogs roaming the property, and plenty of guest rooms for friends and family. While we don't know exact details about his two estates here, Elton has described the Windsor house as tastefully over the top, and there's a vintage feel throughout with a beautiful 18th century orangery at the end of the driveway, which is tech-free. His London pad has a European villa aesthetic that is classic and sophisticated. The Windsor estate is far from modest and has numerous rooms from a luxury library to a salon and even its own chapel. Elton restored the orangery at the end of the driveway as I mentioned, and it's a complete retreat with no TVs, phones, and only classical music. The space has a salon room full of antiques where you can enjoy some champagne before dinner, as well as another library for writing letters. The chapel on his property is dedicated to honoring those close to him that have passed, like Versace, Princess Diana, and Elton's beloved grandmother. Also inside his Windsor estate, there's a squash court that has been transformed into a skylit art gallery, and an amazing garden with fountains and statues to the side of the mansion. Another living room has a fireplace and is decked out with more antiques, and the formal dining room has dark blue color for the walls and drapery. Elton's London townhouse design was actually inspired by the star friendship with the late Freddie Mercury. He acquired a taste for blonde wood furniture after seeing how Freddie used it in his home at the time and decked out his place in the same material. Elton the star pianist may have baby grand pianos at his other homes, but he refuses to put one in this London pad because he insists that it'll never get used. Before we wrap this video up, let's look at one of Elton's more recent property acquisitions, his charming 1920s abode in Nice, France, which he likes to call the Summer House. This home is used as a vacation retreat, as you might expect, and it's located high up in the mountainside, boasting views of the Alps and the bay. The property is close enough to the airport, making for easy travel to and from, and it's also easy for his friends to get to. The summer house is definitely a place for Elton to connect with loved ones, where they can join him for a meal out on the terrace and have a luxury room to stay in. The sunny yellow estate was built in the 1920s as an artist's colony before Elton hired designers Fred Dilger and Monique Gibson to train transform the interior with his flamboyant taste. He wanted stone, glass and mirror, wood, wrought iron, and linen used throughout, as well as open spaces for the warm weather. 
Inside, there's a mostly white color palette with splashes of color and plenty of vibrant art pieces. In the living room, there's a neutral background with a glass and art collection with three ink blot paintings by Andy Warhol. In Elton's private master suite, there's another Warhol painting above his designer bed and pink bed covers. Elsewhere, you'll find an airy tower room which overlooks the Mediterranean. The property at Elton's summer home also shows floral arrangements all over and amazing scenic gardens. It looks like something out of the movies. Alright, so I'm gonna wrap up this house tour here. While that's not an exhaustive list of Sir Elton John's homes, it's most of them, and you can get a pretty good idea of his luxury and unique style. We took a look at both of his Beverly Hills homes, including the massive one that cost $33 million, and the smaller contemporary estate, as well as what we know about his properties in England and France. We know he also owns a sprawling penthouse in Atlanta, Georgia, and it's rumored he owns another home in Italy too. After checking out these four properties that Elton calls home, what did you guys think? Did you have a favorite? I personally couldn't choose. I love the classic design in both the Beverly Hills Mansion and what we saw of the old Windsor Estate, but I wish we could see more. And who could possibly say no to that summer retreat in France? I think Elton has it all figured out with his choices in real estate and each property showcases his luxurious style. Be sure to let me know which place you like the best down in the comments. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video. Leave me a comment and we can chat. It's gonna be about the serpent, also known as Charles Sobraj. So before I get into the real life story about this dude, I'm just gonna talk about the Netflix show that I've been watching, which inspired me to make this video in the first place. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.